Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, Yahoo! Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. A rumor surfaced earlier this week claiming that Samsung unveiled a supposedly working Galaxy Z Fold 5 prototype at CES 2023 and despite being displayed in Las Vegas, the smartphone in question was a Samsung Display prototype rather than a Samsung Galaxy Division prototype. Even while this may seem like semantics, Samsung Display is a division of Samsung Electronics and provides display panels to companies like Apple and Samsung in addition to others. As it did at CES 2022 with the Flex G, Flex Note, Flex S and Flex Slidable. Samsung Display typically utilizes trade events like CES as a display of what it can make rather than what Samsung Galaxy wants to bring to market. As a point of reference, these prototypes have not yet been released on the market in any capacity, much less within a Samsung Galaxy handset which means in other words, the image that was replicated on the neighbor's site is true, but it is not a prototype for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Instead, Samsung Display has given the prototype the name Flex in NL, which YouTube channels like Linus Tech Tips have included in recent videos on CES 20. 2023, with a single display that can fold outwards to recreate a covered display for use in one-handed mode. The Flex in N out behaves more like the Huawei Mate X's 2 than a Galaxy Z Fold 4. Incidentally, the display wrinkle, which continues to be an issue with the Galaxy Z series, is not also resolved by the display technology. In addition to that, it appears that the claim that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 would have a dumbbell or water drop hinge gave this rumored prototype more credibility but unfortunately, there is no evidence to suggest that the Flex in N out's display technology will be used in the Galaxy Z Fold 5 even though the Samsung Galaxy division may use it in a future Galaxy Z Foldable. Apart from that piece of news, the soon-to-be-released Samsung Galaxy A34 was recently spotted at the FCC, obtaining one more certification required for its impending debut. The FCC procedure reveals that the item supports 25 watts wired charging while a prototype of the A34's benchmark results indicate that MediaTek's Dimensity 1080 soak powers the device even if it may sometimes vary by market, with some likely receiving an Exynos 1380 in its place. The device will purportedly be available in four different colors and moreover, there will be three back cameras, including a 48MP primary shooter, a 13MP front-facing camera, a 6.5-inch Full H.D.90 plus Hz AMOLED screen, and a 5000 mAh battery based on prior rumors. And with that said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.